So it's Valentine's Day morning and um, I'm off work because it's, well I'm off work today which is awesome, it's Friday, but it's because I have to work tomorrow and Sunday which kind of sucks but um, whatever. Um, but okay, so anyway, I walked into the kitchen and look what I saw. Isn't it cute? It's a little succulent plant and um, <laughs> Ray put like tin foil on the table because apparently Black Cat like tried to attack it last night. And I have this note. You're my little succulent. Happy Valentine's Day. Isn't that sweet? Alright, so it's about three o'clock in the morning on Valentine's Day. And um Allison has been wanting a cactus slash succulent little garden thing for well, probably a year or two now. Um, last year or the year before we potted one for um, her sister Bree and this Valentine's Day I decided I was going to do one for her. So I just got finished and this is what the end result was. Um, she's got a couple of cacti in there and an aloe plant and a couple of these little succulents and all. So uh, tomorrow morning when she wakes up she will have a Valentine's Day cactus slash succulent surprise. So I left the room for a few minutes and I came back and Black Cat has decided to dig up one of the succulents and that maybe this is his. So I'm gonna have to re try to repot this or replant this one. Okay, take two, so we're gonna try again. He's back in there, hopefully happy and, and fine. And hopefully Black Cat will decide he's going to leave these alone. Okay, so this mo now it's uh, Valentine's Day morning, and in Lake City, uh, I'm from Live Oak, so this is new to me, but in Lake City on Valentine's Day weekend, they have a lusty festival, uh, which is a festival of one of the uh, the battles of the Civil War and everything. So uh, we're having Valentine's Day, eh, pre-Valentine's Day, on Valentine's Day, and a lusty festival this morning. We're gonna go down there and see what's going on. Um, but for Valentine's Day, I have breakfast and comic books waiting on me. Okay, so if you're watching this vlog, um, it's for everyone. It's on the internet, you can watch it. But I just wanted to say that this specific part of the vlog, the vlog with a V, um, it's for my sister Bree, who is in Kenya right now. She loves the Olusti Festival so much and she cannot experience it. So we are going to experience it for her and film some. So Bree, if you're watching, this is for you. I love you. And he is not wearing red at all. Not at all. No. <laughs> um, but the party should be fun and we will film some.
Well, it's the next morning, and um, last night was a lot of fun. I am like just drinking coffee and um, getting ready to go to work this afternoon. So that'll be awesome. It's Saturday afternoon now. Um, Allison's been at work since about one o'clock, and I she doesn't know, but I am cooking her dinner tonight, a surprise dinner. Our first Valentine's Day when we dated like way far back before we got married and everything, um, I had her over to my apartment and I cooked lasagna for her. And there's a funny little story behind uh, the whole lasagna thing and everything. Um, so. I thought for this year I would do the kind of do the same thing, cook her a lasagna, and we'd have a sweet little Valentine's Day day weekend Saturday dinner. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've got my noodles and my uh, ricotta mixture, my sauce over here that I made. Um, we're getting all steamed up because I'm working on the noodles right now. So I'm putting all that together. For all you. right. So now I have everything all ready to go in the oven with my lasagna for Allison. Um, she'll be off work in about an hour or so. I'm going to wait a little bit um, before I put this in there. Okay, so here's a story. And I have um, I think I've told it before on my blog and to other people, but we're going to, to tell it on this, on this video. Um, Ray and I dated in like, the, like 2008. We dated during that year. And um, we got together in January. And um, so when Valentine's Day came around that first year, um, Ray just told me to come to his apartment. And I, I'm not sure if I dressed up or not. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but he just said to come to his apartment and let me, let me be straight. Okay, that's better. Um, he said to come to his apartment and we would have dinner or something. So... Um, background information, his apartment was, like, pretty gross, um, you know, I mean, I know that for a while they used, like, a, like, an amp cabinet or something as a coffee table, like, it was just a complete, like, boy infestation, um, so I get to his apartment, it's clean, it's really nice, um, he had baked lasagna from scratch like he made the sauce and everything um i think maybe his mom had uh helped him um but uh he had salad and bread and it was just really really sweet um and we ate it and then we watched um i think like princess bride or something and in the middle of us watching princess bride uh we had a friend who came over and um like knocked on the door, came in. We were obviously like having a date. Um, he pulled a beer out of his pocket and started to drink it. Um, and just like kind of chatted with us. And I was like, Ray, make him leave. <laughs> like this is our date. Um, he pulled a second beer out of his pocket, drank that, went to the bathroom, peed with the door open, and then left. Uh, so it was an interesting Valentine's Day. Um, fast forward like three or four years, we're not dating at the time anymore. Um, we're at church and someone is talking about lasagna. And I say, um, you know, I don't really love lasagna. And like I wasn't thinking about it. Ray turned around, and I, I guess he had heard me, and his face fell. And that instant, I knew exactly what he was talking about. He was so sad um, because he spent so much time that Valentine's Day making lasagna. And I mean, it was pretty good. Um, but like, lasagna just isn't my absolute favorite food in the world. Um, but anyway, so. It's just it was really really sad because he, I just thought he was gonna like pass away with sadness um, so that's our Valentine's Day lasagna story and there's the finished lasagna it's a little uh, it was a little well done on the top but it's still tasting pretty good it's good it's delicious
Even though she doesn't like lasagna. Hey guys, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Um, and this morning me and Allison went to church and she is now at work, which is kind of eh, not so fun because it's beautiful today. Um, but this uh, this evening, we are planning a date. We I got her some tickets to go to see her one of our favorite bands, Shovels and Rope, tonight in Gainesville. So we're going to have this is kind of our uh, all the other stuff was just kind of we're we're just doing this stuff. So this was a, a Christmas present for her and um, just an added thing for the Valentine's Day weekend, just for just for funsies, you know. So uh, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that. I'm about to get ready here. I've been doing some. Uh, podcast editing and yeah that's it concert was so good really like good. really really good um shovels and rope were awesome as we expected um and shaky grace was pretty good too um i actually didn't expect him to be as good as he was but he was really good um there were some really like like 19 year old frat boys standing next to us for a while who were just like ha had never gone to like yeah, a concert like before never been to a concert. um and one guy like i thought he was gonna break his neck his like head quasi head banging <laughs> this is yeah. terrible um but anyway we're home the weekend is over over ray is eating beef jerky Thanks, in, Chris. In our bedroom. Absolutely. Also, I want everyone to take note of how beautiful my hair is today. He's getting a haircut this week. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend because we sure did. And um, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>